video we are going to learn how to measure the dimensions of an object using a meter scale the material required is a scale you can use a metallic scale just like i have one with me or you can even use a wooden scale or a plastic scale you would be needing a measuring tape so i have this measuring tape with me on which you can see the numbers one side it's given in inches the other side it's given in centimeters and millimeters so you can use this kind of a measuring tape then you will require objects of different shapes i have a cylindrical object with me and i also have a cuboid with me something like this you can also use objects such as your table your textbook your uh, mobile phone anything that you want to measure let us now measure the dimensions of this box so you can either use a scale as i said earlier or you can use a measuring tape so first of all let us find out what is the height of this box so i have a scale and i place this is the length this is the breadth and this is the height so length breadth and height so first we'll measure the length so if you look at this closely you'll be able to see that the length is 10 cm i think it's clearly visible it's 10 cm so we can write the length as 10 cm here now if we talk about millimeters every small line on this like if you look at the dimensions between 3 and 4 you will find 10 subdivisions every subdivision corresponds to 1 mm so 10 cm you have to multiply it by 10 and that makes it 100 mm and for converting centimeters to meters you have to divide it by 100 and that makes it 0.1 meter similarly we will measure the breadth so as i said this was the length so this is the breadth so again i'll be holding it like this so that you can see it clearly the length was 10 and now the breadth is 5 this is corresponding to 5 on the scale so 5 cm is the length uh, sorry breadth and we multiply it by 10 that makes it 50 mm as the breadth in mm and if you divide it by 100 it makes 0.05 m as the breadth in m now for the height this is the height again i'll use the scale and you can see that the height is also 5 that is why this side of this box is a square so the breadth and the height both are 5 so this is also going to be 5 cm making it 50 mm and 0.05 m let us now check with the second object which is a cylinder you can measure the height using the scale only so i can see it's like uh, okay it's again 10 it's again 10 you can very clearly see it's corresponding to 10 cm as the height and just as we did earlier 10 cm means 100 subdivisions on the millimeter scale that makes it 100 mm and when you divide it by 100 to convert it to meters it makes it 0.1 meters now what is the circumference circumference is the circular part that is this part you cannot measure it using a scale because obviously it is not straight so we will have to use a tape here so on the tape we, i am using the dimension of centimeters i placed it here i wrap it round like this and when it reaches here the point where it's overlapping shows 16 cm so it is 16 cm uh, the circumference is 16 cm you can say so what does 16 cm correspond to 16 cm corresponds to 160 mm because we multiplied by 10 and it corresponds to 0.16 m when we divide it by 100 so that is how you measure the dimensions of this cylinder similarly you can measure the dimensions of other objects around you as well 
in the same way you can measure the top of your desk it may be the desk that you have in school or it may be your study desk at home you may study the dimensions of your teacher's table the length and the breadth and even the dimensions of your classroom so try experimenting measure all the dimensions and fill in this table